morning. As always, I'm in the car on my way to boot camp. I'm dreading this a little bit. It is 30 degrees out. 30, and I live in the desert. This is unacceptable. I will say that I'm glad that it is not snowing, but it is cold. And in fact, it's going to be 26 tomorrow morning. I'm so glad I don't have boot camp tomorrow morning, but man alive, has it been cold here. Abnormally cold. I mean, I remember last year being a little bit chilly in January, but I feel like this is really cold. So I'm going to bundle up. I've got a tank top on and a sweatshirt. I've got big thick socks on. I have gloves to wear. My sweatshirt has a hoodie, so I'll probably put that up over my ears until I at least warm up. I mean, that was my car telling me that the outside temperature is freezing. So this ought to be interesting. I know that it is going to warm up a little bit today. Not warm by any means, but it'll be sunny. So that always brightens my spirit. I do have a really busy day today. I am getting a facial today. So my in-laws and us drew names and I got Troy and Troy got me. So I'm glad that he got me a facial though, rather than a non-consumable thing because I don't need anything. So I'm actually happy that he got me a facial and I'm going to a new spa that I've never been to before in Green Valley, which is the town over from where I live. So I'm really excited for that. I have to do a Target pickup today. I need to go to the post office. I need to just go through the drive-thru at the bank. I need to deposit a check. And Troy and I switched banking institutions, so I want to make sure that my new debit card works. And depositing the check will be perfect. We actually got a check from our mortgage company that we had an overage in our escrow of like $150. So they sent us a check. So I'm gonna make Make sure that my debit card works we I'm expecting a couple packages today so I'll share those with you guys I did have about half of my protein coffee this morning before I left for boot camp I'll finish that up when I get home and then I will see you guys at breakfast all right I am home and I'm somewhat ready for the day I did go ahead and straighten my hair put on some skincare just and some sunscreen since I'm gonna run a few errands before my facial I am ready for some breakfast I'm super hungry I did share in my favorites video that I really like like making protein pancakes, protein waffles with the Devotion Nutrition Sinful Cinnamon Protein Powder. A lot of you commented on that video. I got some messages, direct messages asking me, what's the recipe? How do I make those pancakes? It's two ingredients, super easy. So we're gonna have those for breakfast this morning. So you're going to need one scoop or one package of the Devotion Nutrition Sinful Cinnamon Protein Powder. I always say that Devotion is my favorite for baking and cooking and my favorite for protein pancakes and protein waffles. You can buy them by the individual little package in single flavors or a variety pack or a big tub. I have the packets right now. This is one serving, one scoop. And then all you're going to do is mix it with some canned pumpkin. This is pumpkin puree. You can add a little bit of water to get the right consistency, but literally these two things is how I'm going to make my protein waffles. I'm going to do waffles. I am going to top them with some chopped pecans for a healthy fat. I'm also going to top them with my Lakanto sugar-free maple syrup. This is the cinnamon. This is perfection with the sinful cinnamon devotion protein powder. And then I have just some regular Kerrygold butter. We're gonna add a little bit of that for some additional fat. So let me go ahead and get my waffle maker out and I'll show you how I put together the batter. So this is the waffle maker I use. This is the mini waffle from Dash. I bought this on Amazon, I'll link it for you. I have it plugged in and warming up. So I'm going to add my entire packet of Devotion or one scoop. You can make these any flavor. I actually shared the Devotion brownie batter and I made waffles out of that a couple of what I eat in a day videos ago. So really you can use any flavor. I like the angel food cake and the sinful cinnamon the best for these. And then you're going to put in about a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. It doesn't matter exactly. Just kind of eyeball it, measure with your heart. And then we're going to stir that together. And like I said, you are going to have to add in a little bit of water just to get the right consistency. But I always like to mix it up as much as I can with just the pumpkin first. So I added about a tablespoon of water, even a little bit less than a tablespoon. And that's it. Here is your protein waffle or protein pancake batter. I'm going to spray my waffle maker with some nonstick cooking spray. I just use this one from Chosen Foods. And then we should get at least two waffles out of this batter. Close it up, and when the waffle is done, the light will turn off. Look at that waffle. That is literal 
perfection. I'm going to add a little bit more nonstick cooking spray and then the rest of the batter. Now I'm going to put a teaspoon of butter spread on both of my waffles. And then I'm going to weigh out 10 grams of pecans. Then I'm going to weigh out two tablespoons of my syrup in milliliters. I like to pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to get the syrup nice and hot. And there are my waffles. Don't those look absolutely incredible? I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen and let's give it a taste. This is the real test how good these are. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. It doesn't, you can't taste the pumpkin at all. It tastes like cinnamon French toast and then you get the crunch of the pecans. It's so good. Mm. Highly recommend. I will link Devotion and Lakanto in the description box for you with a discount. All right, we're in the car. We are headed out to run quite a few errands this morning. First stop is the post office. I actually just pulled into the post office. I did bring a Fulfill protein bar with me. I have a feeling I'm gonna be out for a few hours and I don't want to put myself in a position where I get hungry and I don't have something. So I did bring a protein bar with me. I am going to also be getting a coffee. I have my facial in about 45 minutes and I don't think I want to get a coffee before my facial because I don't want it just sitting in my car for an hour while I'm in there. So I brought this, so I'll probably get a coffee coffee after. I have a couple of Amazon returns for the UPS store, which is right by my facial. So I also need to stop by the bank really quick. I think I might do that before my facial. And then we're going to make a quick run to Tucson. Nothing's quick in Tucson. It's about a 25 minute drive, but we're going to make a quick run and do my target pickup. And then I just want to be home around 1130. Tori's heading out with his dad for a few hours today. So I just want to be home before he heads out. I'm also, like I said, expecting a couple of packages. So I want to be there when they show up. So let's head into the post office and knock one of these errands out. All right, we are on our way to the bank. It is right around the corner. We should be done in just enough time to get to my appointment. I will say it was kind of weird. It's kind of weird being out in public and running errands bare face. This is not something that I normally do. Other than working out, I typically always wear makeup. So it's weird to be out in public without it. I'm honestly a little bit self-conscious. I know that you guys are gonna say, oh, you look so great without makeup, thank you. I always say I'm beautiful with or without makeup. Makeup is just a form of self-expression and I love it and I prefer to wear it. So the truth is I will be putting makeup on as soon as I get home from my facial anyways. But yeah, it's just kind of weird to be running around without it. Okay, well, we're not going to the ATM because the Loomis truck is filling it or emptying it and it's blocked. That's going to put a quick stop to that errand. So since we weren't able to go to the bank, I am go. I think I have enough time to run and do these couple of returns at the UPS store since it's really close to the place that I'm getting my facial. I also brought my water with me. It has my creatine in it in my Motivate Recovery. I'm going to try to finish that before we grab coffee. There was a Chase Bank across the street from the UPS store, so life is Good, I'm able to get everything in the bank and my debit card is working perfectly. looks and feels amazing. She did a fantastic job. Everything smelled so good. We had pumpkin, we had chocolate mint. It was so relaxing. I actually caught myself falling asleep a couple times, two or three times, and I would quickly wake up, but I could catch myself just so relaxed and so comfortable. My skin, it does look so good though. It feels 
amazing. I am hungry. So, so I am going to go ahead and eat my protein bar. I I'm definitely going to get a coffee. I need a little pick me up and we'll head and grab that target order. Cheers. I got my coffee. So what I got from Starbucks is a venti iced Americano, four shots. I'm rolling my window up because someone's blaring their music An iced Americano, four shots, sugar-free vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon powder, cinnamon powder, and then half an inch of cream. So this is actually only one point and it's really good. I've been switching over to pure sugar-free since I've been on my cut and I'm not missing any of the regular flavors at all. And I am currently sitting at Target. I just showed the lovely lady my code for my order. So she's hopping in to grab that. And I was thinking as I was driving here that my skin looks amazing since my facial. And I think you're going to get me barefaced for this entire what I eat a day. I don't see the need to put on any makeup. I'm just going to enjoy the day, bare face, let my skin soak in all of the goodness from my facial. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about taking a bare faced day. I will give you a little mini Target haul when I get home. I didn't get a lot, but there was a couple things I specifically wanted to come to Target for. So we'll do a haul when I get home. All right, quick Target haul. So one of the main reasons that I went to Target was actually for these. We love these little packs of Utz pretzels. They're so good. They come out at Halloween and they come out at Valentine's Day. There are little X's and O's. They're little individual packets, 50 calories. I love these as a pre-workout. I eat these on my way to the gym as I'm walking to the gym. I love pretzels and peanut butter. They're pre-portioned. It's so easy with these. I almost bought two boxes but I was afraid that they would expire before we could go through them. Let me show you. So here is the size of the bag. So literally it is the perfect little snack. So that was one of the main reasons that I wanted to go to Target. And then I also grabbed a couple little individual cottage cheese because these were on Target Circle and it just makes it easy. It's already pre-portioned out. I actually got three of those. And then, you know how much I love the favorite day whipped cream. This is the strawberry. So I got this too because I put whipped cream on my protein shakes all the time. You also know my dogs love their whipped cream. I got Palmer's little chicken bones. He gets a half of one of these every single morning. I also got some true fruit as a little sweet treat. These have nice, clean ingredients. I also got some razors for Troy. They didn't have the cheap razors at Fry's and they have them at Target. So I grabbed a pack and some wax strips. I use these to wax my face to get all the loose, to get all the extra hair. And then last but not least, yeah, last but not least, I got some little Hershey mini chocolate hearts just to have some fun Valentine's candy out on our counter. So that's everything from Target. So my package is here, one that I've been, the one I've been waiting for, and that is my brand new air purifier. This is from the brand Morento, and this isn't just your mama's air purifier. This thing is incredible. It has an app associated with us. It can be controlled by voice, and it has indicator lights that tell you the quality of your air in your home. Green for good, yellow for caution, and red for bad. That is what I wanted in an air purifier. I wanted to know exactly at all times what the air quality in my home was. It's going to go ahead and go right here in my bedroom next to this chair. This is actually the chair Troy sits on to get ready every day. And there is the perfect spot right here for the air purifier. So this is the Morento Smart Air Purifier. This is perfect for rooms up to 1,076 square feet. It has Wi-Fi and Alexa capabilities, auto air quality display, auto mode, quiet mode, HEPA filter removes dust, pollen, and smoke. They actually capture 99.97% .9 of airborne particles, including dust and pollen. You can actually use intelligent voice control, go hands-free and use your voice to monitor and change the machine settings through your Amazon Alexa or Google assistant. It has a high efficiency filtration with two separate air filters. It purifies from both sides simultaneously, which increases the purification speed. And then the display is a smart display, which monitors the filter life and lets you know when they need to be replaced. You can pick them up right off of Amazon along with this air purifier. So the re filter replacements and the air purifier you can purchase right on Amazon. I also love that it has a sleep mode. It will run at its lowest fan 
sleep at less than 24 decibels with the display lights off so that you can enjoy uninterrupted nights sleep with clean air. It has four separate fan speeds. We typically leave ours on three or four. We like the white noise of the fan even while we're sleeping, but I do appreciate that it has a sleep mode. There's also a two, five, and eight hour timer. So you can have it turn off when you're not at home or when you don't want the air purifier running. And like I mentioned, one of my favorite features is it monitors your air quality in real time. It displays the information on the HavaWorks app. If the air quality drops, the screen will display yellow or red and the app will send you a notification. Green light indicates good air quality, yellow light indicates moderate, and the red light indicates bad. I also love that it comes with the capability of operating it through an app. So no matter where you are in your home, you can adjust your Morento Smart Air Purifier. It just connects to your Wi-Fi in your home and it's extremely easy to set up and use. So I'm really loving my air purifier. It's just a really smart thing to have in your home to know exactly what your air quality looks like because what we breathe in, dust, pollen, dander, pet hair, can really have an impact on our overall health. So I really love this one from Morento. Super excited to have this. I may even move it from room to room from time to time just to kind of see what the air quality is. I, also, it will indicate if your air quality is bad, if it's near your kitchen and you're cooking and you're getting smoke and things in the air. It's just the coolest air purifier. So I will make sure that it is linked down below with a discount. Do you guys want a special bone? Palmer, he's a little slow. Oh, there you are. Is it time for special bones? So we are currently doing the smart bones. Again, I buy these on Amazon. I'll link them for you. By the way, this treat container that we hauled from TJ Maxx is amazing. I really love it. Are you ready? Good sit, buddy. There you go. Hi, honey, you ready? Here you go. So here is my lunch for today. I'm having 100 grams of blackberries, and then this is the ground turkey mushroom soup that I made in my meal prep on Monday. If you missed Monday's meal prep video, I'll link it down below for you. It's so good, you guys. It's even better the next day when it has when all the flavors have really melded together. This is going to be the perfect high protein, healthy carb lunch. So I just got a package from Flavor God. I love Flavor God seasonings. And they sent me some of their brand new pet toppers. Oh my gosh, my dogs are going to be so excited for this. We'll definitely put some on their food, see what they think. But there is a new peanut butter flavor topper and a chicken flavor topper. And it looks like it's just a kind of a powder form and you just sprinkle it on their dog food. So we're gonna add this to their food and see what they think. And then I got some of my favorite seasonings. So I love the chocolate donut. All these have zero calories. So they're zero points, zero calories. I don't even track them. Chocolate donut is amazing on Ninja Creamy ice cream and yogurt bowls. Love the lemon and garlic on chicken. Garlic lovers, 10 out of 10. Really good, again, on any meat. And then the everything seasoning is kind of like a Lowry seasoning. So anytime it calls for an all-purpose seasoning, I really like to use the flavor god. And then buttery cinnamon roll, if you know, you know. This is incredible. This is so good on oatmeal, yogurt, Ninja Creamy, really anything. And then I decided to try the spicy one. You know, I'm not really big on spice, but sometimes I like just a little bit of heat. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I picked that one up as well. So yeah, I'm really excited for a restock on my favorite Flavor God seasonings. And then let's definitely test out these pet food toppers. So I'm going to get a little bowl of dog food for each of the dogs. We have chicken and peanut butter. We're gonna see if they like these as a little addition to their meal. You guys wanna try your toppers? We got special little toppers for you guys. Let's see if you like them. So I'm going to do just a tiny bit of food. I'll bring you guys down and show you. And then I have the chicken flavor. Mix that up a little bit, okay? And then peanut butter. I think I'm going to give Lola peanut butter and Palmer chicken. Palmer's a little bit pickier of an eater than Lola, so I think she'll like that. So Lola, Palmer. All right, Lola, you wanna try your food topper? It's peanut butter. Oh, Palmer, hang on. Palmer, look. Palmer. Just chicken for you. Do you like it? Oh, do you guys like it? Say, we like Flavor God seasonings like our mama. They both seem to be really liking it. 
So if your dogs are picky eaters, especially when Lola was going through chemo, she hardly ate anything. This is awesome. Plus it's a nice little fun addition here and there to their food. So these are a huge hit. I will go ahead and link Flavor God down below with the discount. So I have been working at my desk and I'm going to have an afternoon snack. It's still a couple hours before I have dinner. So I'm going to have one of the little Good Culture cottage cheese cups that we picked up from Target. This is actually three quarters of a cup. So it has 19 grams of protein. I've really been focusing my snacks on having all three macros. I want to make sure I have a protein, a fat, and a carb. So topping my cottage cheese, I'm going to do one tablespoon of Chia Smash. This is the strawberry superfood jam. And all that is in here is strawberries, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. And it's like a jam slash sauce. It is amazing. Super clean ingredients, super healthy. So I'm going to put one tablespoon of that on top. That's going to give me fiber, fat, some carbs. And then I'm going to have two of my Alyssa's healthy oatmeal bites. You guys know I love these. I just buy these right off of Alyssa's website. I'll link her website. I'll also link the Chia Smash. I buy that off of Amazon in a six pack. You can also find it at health food stores. So whatever your preference is, but I'll link everything down below for you. So here's my snack. I am on my third thing of water. Yay me. And there's my cottage cheese with one tablespoon of Chia Smash and my two Alyssa's cookies. This couldn't be a better, more protein packed, healthy carb snack. For dinner tonight, I am making orange chicken stir fry with asparagus. We're gonna pair this with my leftover rice from my meal prep. Let me show you what you'll need for tonight's dinner recipe. First, you're going to need chicken broth, minced garlic, fresh ginger, you could even use dried ginger. I have ginger paste, honey, cornstarch, salt and pepper, a pound of 97 or leaner ground chicken, asparagus, a yellow onion, and a couple of oranges. The recipe also calls for mushrooms. I must have missed that and didn't pick them up from the store, but you can definitely add in some mushrooms. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice up my onion and my asparagus. So I went ahead and am warming up a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add my pound of ground chicken, and then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper, and we're going to allow it to brown. So my chicken is browned. I went ahead and removed it to a plate. To my same skillet, I'm going to add my onion that I sliced up and my asparagus. And we're going to allow these to saute down for about five minutes. So while that's cooking in the same bowl my veggies were in, I went ahead and juiced the two oranges. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of honey, and about half of a cup of chicken broth. And we're going to give that a stir and set it aside. I'm going to add in a couple of big heaping scoops of minced garlic and about a tablespoon of fresh ginger. And we're going to allow those to cook along with our vegetables until fragrant. Then we're going to add back in our chicken and stir that all together. Allow that to cook for about another minute. And then lastly, we're adding in our sauce. I'm just giving it one quick stir. Just make sure that cornstarch is all mixed. And stir that in and we're going to allow it to simmer until that sauce is nice and thick. Look at how amazing this looks. It smells so good. I smell orange. I smell ginger. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. Let me go ahead and heat up some rice. I'll put together dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here's my dinner. I can't tell you how amazing this smells. I'm so excited for this. I did half of a cup of cooked jasmine rice and one serving of the orange chicken. So all of the information is here on the screen for you. It is the end of the night. I'm about to go get my pajamas on and Lola and I are watching the Gypsy Rose special documentary. It's actually really good. So for dessert, since I just got these today and they sound amazing, I'm going to do a serving of my True Fruit. It's 150 calories. Like I said, really good ingredients. Dark chocolate, white chocolate, wrap, freeze dried raspberries. Super, super good. Very satisfying. Satisfies that sweet tooth, but in a healthy way. So I'm going to do one serving or a quarter cup of the True Fruit. Thank you for joining me 
for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, running our errands, having a facial, tonight's dinner recipe, amazing. It is on my recipe website. I will link the Morento air purifier down below. Flavor God, everything I shared with you in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, down in the description box, I'll also put nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.